Hello, my darlings. I know a few of you have sent me um, the screenshot of the Jackson family of Atlanta getting a divorce. I know some of you have sent me some stuff before, but you know how I am. I don't really like to talk about couples and marriages and stuff like that. You know, if they say something, there's an article or there's an, a comment they said I might be able to jump on. But um, so they're getting a divorce. Um, he's released a statement. I'm going to come back and do that because I, I really don't have time. I'm sitting here working on uh, book stuff and I just, I'm just busy. But I wanted to jump on and talk about this really quick. And um, this is the wife's statement, Mahogany. She says, after eight years, are y'all seeing that? Yes, you are. I, I want to read through what she said real slowly. Um, after eight years of marriage, I am getting a divorce. Since the onset of November, 2023, my husband has been involved in an affair with a fellow participant from his com comedic endeavors. This is not an isolated instance, but rather a recurring pattern of behavior. So it's not an isolated instance, it's a pattern of his behavior. And what did you keep doing? Having babies for him. You keep, you kept having babies for a man who has been unfaithful to you throughout your whole marriage. I'm going to say that again. And this is why wives end up being the naked wives. She said it is not an isolated incident. In other words, she's letting us know she can't work through it because it's not isolated. This is not the first time. It's been a recurring behavior throughout their eight years of marriage and six kids six babies six babies <clears throat> you popped out for this man who's been cheating on you throughout your entire marriage ma'am the first time he cheated on you if you decide to stay. That's what the Bible said. Baby, you fry your eggs and you eat them. You don't, you don't allow. You don't give space for this man to continue to reproduce with your eggs. Because obviously he has an issue. And I see this over and over again. I talk to a lot of women. I mentor a lot of women. And this is one reason I don't mentor wives. Because they are delusional. Wives are delusional. When he cheated on you the first time. If you decide to stay, the Bible says that is your freedom to divorce. But if you want to stay, you stay. You decided to stay with him. And what did you do? Six kids in eight years. I think one of them is a twin. You kept popping babies out. For a man who don't love you. And he don't love you. Listen, delusional wives. I don't care if it's my husband. I don't care if it's Michael Thompson Sr. 
if Michael Thompson Sr. cheats on me, he does not love me. I know y'all are delusional. And by the way, I'm not showing my face because I'm in my PJs and I don't feel like I'm putting on a bra, okay? <laughs> and my hair standing up on top of my head. I took my button out. I know, I know y'all want to think he love you, even if he cheat on you. Dumb, dumb. And the question I'm asking you, if he loves you and he cheats on you, but he still loves you, what is the proof that he does not love you? Let me ask you again. If you believe your husband can cheat on you, can violate your marriage bond, can break your vows of marriage that you took before God and man. If you think he still loves you by breaking those vows, what is the proof that he does not love you? Because there is no way you love me but you gonna put the D in another woman. There is no, it's impossible. And I wanted to jump on and talk about this because I have another story to talk about. I just didn't have time today. But I just wanted to show you what she said. This is not an isolated incident. It's a recurring behavior, but ma'am, you kept having babies for him. So now you are getting a divorce. And you got six little boys. Six little boys. For a man who continued to be unfaithful to you, right? Are those twins, is that two set of twins? Who in their right mind in 20 and 24 is going to have six kids? Nobody after 2019 should be having six kids. First of all, y'all can't take care of them. Y'all cannot give them the best life. There's another one on, to, on, on YouTube popping out kids. Every year she pop her kids out. She got like six kids in one bedroom. And I'm like, where is Dyphus? You cannot take care of all those kids. You cannot give them all the love and the attention that they need. Not in 20 and 23, you can't. I, I, this is, oh, this is so cute. No, it's not. You got four kids in one room. And then she's using the older kids to take care of the younger kids. And 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 I I I I'm not speaking anything in nobody's life, but mm. let's read on. This is not an isolated instance, but rather a recurring pattern of behavior. Despite the gravity of this situation, it was the final incident that compelled me to take the decisive action. And did she just have a baby? You just had a baby, right? Over the span of our decade-long journey together, I have been subjected to various forms of disheartening behavior. And throughout this ordeal, I maintained my silence and remained steadfast in my loyalty to my husband, all in an attempt to shield his public image from the taint of such scandal. So throughout the marriage, you've been subjected to various forms of disheartening behavior, but for somehow, you kept having babies for him. Huh? Throughout this ordeal, I maintained my silence. That's why he kept doing what he was doing because you were silent. And you was loyal to your husband while he was not loyal to you, your kids, or your God. Because you was trying to shield him in an attempt. You're trying to be the man. Wife ain't supposed to be shielding no husband. The husband is supposed to be shielding his wife and his kids. 
And anytime a wife has got to shield her husband, she has stepped into the man's place. He, your husband continued to act and behave the way he did because you became his mama, because you said, despite the gravity of this situation, it was the final that compelled me to this is how over the span of our decade long journey together, I have been subject to various forms of disheartening behavior. And throughout this ordeal, I maintained my silence and remained steadfast in my loyalty to my husband, all in an attempt to shield his public image from the taint of such scandal. So why should he stop? Why should he stop when you're protecting him and shielding him? He has no reason to stop. You know why? Because my wife is right and die and she got my back. And I am encouraging wives, especially Christian wives in 20 and 24, stop accepting bad behavior from your husbands. Stop it. In spite of my husband's failings, my affection for him remained unshakable. Apparently, he didn't have no affection for you. Because if he didn't have any affection for you, he wouldn't have been running around with all kind of people. People, y'all, they're saying the people are saying. Not woman, people. I conceive a family with him, and you continue to have babies with him. In spite, you shielded him, him being disheartening, and been cheating on you throughout your still marriage, you continue to create a family with him because you thought those babies was going to make him stop being an unfaithful husband. Nurturing the hope that he would evolve into the man, his persuasive words suggested, but his actions contradicted. <laughs> Jesus have mercy. Read 23 times. So guys, listen to what she said. Nurturing the hope that he would evolve. So she knew who he was, but she hoped that he would become. Isn't that what I talk about? Marry a man where he is. Do not marry a potential. She said, nurturing the hope that he would evolve into the man, his persuasive words suggested, but his actions contradicted. Pay attention to his actions, ma'am. If the words don't add up, walk away. As profoundly painful as this experience is, I am confident that better days lie ahead for me. I hope so, because you got six boys to raise. Six little boys to raise. I have devoted these past years to upholding my commitment to my husband, expressing my love to him. Apparently, he didn't love you. And fostering our family, regardless of any slanderous accusation he may seek to level against me, my devotion to my husband throughout our marital journey has been unequivocal and unwavering. And that's your problem. That's your problem. He's out here slinging it in every hole. And you have unwavering, oh, my unwavering love and devotion. When the time is right, I will share more about my personal journey to our amazing audience who has accompanied Justin and I over the years. We all differ to share our corporate journey with you. I, I Get your ass off social media. That's what, that's y'all problem. Raising your kids on social media, having your marriage on social media. Marriage is a covenant. It should be protected. It should not be for everybody to see and comment on it. Hold on, y'all. Raising your kids on social media, having your marriage on social media, so now you're going to have a social media about co-parenting. No, no, no. Get off social media. That's why I don't comment on people's marriages who their marriages on social media, they live their marriage in social media, and they live their marriages on TV. That's why I can't watch that show, Marriage Huntsville, the other one. I've tried, but I just can't. Because your marriage, your marriage should not be, you should not have your marriage where people can, is always commenting about you. And I'm not saying you can't share, but your marriage is a covenant. It is to be protected and covered. 
not for everybody in the world to see. So now you want to go do a, a social media about co-parenting. <sighs> With you across all our shared platforms and channels, I am deeply grateful for your prayers and for the consistent support that you have extended to my family and I as I turn the page on this chapter. I'm stepping into a new era of freedom and liberation with hearts right Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Your husband, ladies, act the way they act because you treat them like little boys. You the mama. You the mama. Anyways, I got to go. I just had to jump on and do this really quick because I got I have so many of you messaging me. Do I know the couple? I don't I don't watch marriages. I can't because it's just too much. Because I see too much. You know, it's it's different, like something happened, like Simone Biles, they did a video and we we did a couple of video on it, and then you just let it go. But this constant talking about your marriage and having your marriage for people to criticize, it's not good. Those are fiery darts and the arrows flying towards your marriage. But you open the door. Anyways, I have to go. The Naked Wife is available on Amazon. Be sure to show me love and support. My cash app is below. Uh, if you want dating, cont, dating, mentor, and email me, even wives, you know, you could still email me, child. I don't know if I can help you or not. Husband profile begins in April. 23 tasks of guys you might meet. Book club begins. Uh, oh, Lord, this is this is February, huh? Okay, I'll give you all more information. Let me know what you think. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.